Please work, please work. I'm putting a lot of time. Yes, I get to go. Now I'm gonna finish the installation. All right, I try to fit everything into the housing and hopefully it will just go on smoothly. And as a finishing step, put it on the end caps. It's looking beautiful already. And this is what it looks like. I know it's a little gap on top. It's not exactly flush to the ceiling because of the two long length screws and the caps will not cover the whole length. So in order to reduce the length of these two bolts, I need to move the bolts up, screw it up. If you're lucky enough to untighten it and get it up, if you're not, you're going to have to remove this bracket and then you can uh, somehow get the bolts up to a higher level. See, move this bolt up and tighten it with the nut. And a good way of checking the proper length is to screw on the end cap until it's as close to it as possible. Looks like I need to go higher a little bit because there's a gap. Okay. This is what it looks like now, shortened. Now I'm gonna fit that over there and hopefully it works fit perfectly. But don't worry, you can loosen and tighten it, lengthen and shorten it, I meant, without having to take off the screws. This is by simply uh, using your fingers to screw it. So before there was a gap, but thanks to my Uncle Bill, who is a handyman, he gave me the tips on how to shorten the screw. Now it looks even more beautiful now that it's flush with the ceiling. 